Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. I had a tough time fitting all my tropical and temperate trees into the plant room in the basement for the winter. And I had these two rooted cuttings here, a Natal ficus and a ficus microcarpa. And I thought about putting them on the compost heap and then I thought, no, they're rooted. I can get them underway as a bonsai and give them away to someone. So let's do that today. Let's get them root pruned, top pruned, underway as a bonsai, and then I can give them away. I was saving this Natal ficus in case I needed another tree in my root over temple planting, but I think the three trees I planted are fine. The composition looks good, so I don't need this Natal ficus anymore. So I'll prune it up, root prune it, top prune it today, and get it underway as a bonsai. And same with this uh, ficus microcarpa. I think this is a tiger bark variety and it's either from my Tropical Expressions workshop tree or the uh, auction ficus. So again, I'll root prune it and top prune it and get it underway as a bonsai. Last night, we got our first really cold temperatures, three degrees below freezing. So I brought any of my trees and ceramic pots into the greenhouse here to keep them a little warmer uh, for the night. I didn't want to risk cracking any of the pots in the cold because we had rain just before. So all the soil was saturated with water. And when water freezes, it expands and there's a possibility it could crack the pot. So I brought them all in here into the greenhouse, had the heat on and it kept it just above freezing. It's the middle of the afternoon now and you can see there is still snow on the benches here. The pots are still frozen. Soil is quite firm. I did leave a couple of jades out here. They're uh, planted, their cuttings planted in this, with this oak tree, which is a hardy tree. And I didn't get time to move them, so they seem okay. Uh, it was, yeah, three degrees below freezing and you can see there's still snow on this planting. Yeah, and the jades seem okay, which is amazing. I'm going to begin with the Natal ficus today, so I'll get it out of the pot. This was in a mesh pot, and I'll rake out the root system. There's some weeds in there. Get those out. And just see what kind of a root system I have on this tree. And I'll be doing some fairly severe work on the tree today. I, uh, I want to keep it small but alive so I don't want it taking up too much space. But I want to get it underway as a bonsai, which means combing out the roots, getting them you know, a nice radial root base on the go, and then chopping the trunk down to get some uh, taper in the trunk and some branching. And that will do, and then someone can take over this tree and develop it into the future. So you can see the trunk is very curvy. So I'll probably you know, cut it off quite short. And I have space in my plant room in between the larger pots for smaller trees like this. So that's good. It'll warm up and begin growing with a lot of vigor once it gets into the plant room. Okay, so I've got the roots combed out. I'm going to, what is that? There's a piece of plastic embedded in the roots. I'm going to uh, take away this tray and then we'll start the root pruning. And you can see the aerial roots that grew on this tree, they're very, very long. All right, I'm going to begin the root pruning. So you can see we have a lot of roots. This cutting was planted quite deep. So it, the trunk continues to taper right down to this root base down here, so I think you know, I'll start pruning away some of these upper roots, exposing the trunk line. A lot of these are aerial roots. So this tree has been growing outside all summer. It has lots of energy. So once it gets into the plant room and starts warming up, it'll grow with a lot of vigor, even 
if I make it just a stump. So that gets rid of a lot of those long aerial roots. So I'm getting down close to the true root base now. So I'm going to start, I've got this really long root here and it's kind of, if you look, it doesn't really flow down into the soil very well. It's kind of not even horizontal, it's sticking up a bit. So I'm going to take it right off. I've got plenty of fine roots that will keep this tree alive. This one, it's a bit long, I'll prune it back. This one is really, really long, big long root, I'll prune it back like that. And there's another long one coming from the bottom here, I'll prune that back. So that gets rid of a lot of these long roots that were circling around. And I'm slowly getting down to a better root system. So again, I'll continue to prune away roots that are sticking up and aren't part of my final root base. So that one's too high. Now here, I have some roots that aren't going a radial direction and they're too high, so I'm taking them off. one's kind of sticking up. I pruned it before but I think I've got to take it off really short. It was curving upwards. These roots are too high. And this is typical of cuttings. Generally you plant the cuttings quite deeply in the soil and then you get all these roots to choose from and then you do your root selection and get it down to a kind of a flat radial root base. sticking up. That one's sticking up. That one's too high. Sticking up. Turning those ones back. Okay, I think that's kind of got the root base down to something small. Now I've got to decide where to trunk chop it. Um, I do want to keep it quite a small bone size, so I'm thinking somewhere around here. So, here I go. Um, I'll go right here. Here I go, big cut coming up. Like that. So that is basically my tree now, just a stump with some roots, and I'll plant that in a pot. And it'll develop branches and roots and uh, start its bonsai journey. I'm going to plant the tree in this plastic training pot. It's about the right size. I've got a screen in the bottom, so I'll fill it up with a base layer of soil. And then plant the tree in here. And I'll arrange the roots, getting them combed out, nice and radial. I think that's good. I mean, it'll be you know, a bit of a slanting tree. And then I'll fill it in with bonsai soil. Like that. And I'll just raise it a bit as I tap it down. Make sure those roots are flowing down into the soil and they're not too horizontal. You don't want your roots horizontal, you want them tapering down into the soil. Okay, so that is planted. I'll give it a water and then I'll take it into the plant room and start warming it up. I will put a dab of uh, rubber cement on the top just to seal that big trunk chop there which isn't that big, but 
compared to the size of the tree, it is big. All right, here I go with the water. All right, that's good. Here is a look at the tree planted. So hopefully next time I show you this tree, it'll have branches coming and it'll be nicely rooted. Here is a look at tree number two, the ficus microcarpa. So there's a lot of branches reaching up out of the soil and I think they're all connected to one trunk. Um, I kept this cutting for a reason, I think because it did have all these multi branches sticking up. So hopefully it's rooted well. Let's find out. I'll get the tree out of the pot. Well, it came out pretty easily. And I'll begin raking out the roots. They feel very flexy here. They're flexing around a lot, which doesn't indicate they come from a common, a common uh, trunk. No, they're all separate cuttings. There's another one. More. Oh my goodness. This one has two trunks coming out. This one also. Mm. Yeah, I've got a lot of trees here. So, I can't pot up all the trees. I just don't have space. So I'm going to have to maybe just plant one today and the rest will have to go on the compost heap. I just don't have room for them all. So I'll pick out my best cutting and pot it up. And it may not be the largest one, it may be the one with the best root system. So here is a look at the trees laid out. So this one is very small. It has a good root system. I could grow this as a little mini tree. So that's potential. This one, it's got lots of roots and a fairly thick, you know, start of the trunk here and some branching happening. I mean, it could be made into a nice bonsai, but I don't know. And this one, its root system's fine. It's a bit awkward looking, this structure. This one, the roots are a bit one-sided. It must have been at the edge of the pot. Eh, there's not much going for that one. It's just a straight trunk. And the last one here, it has some good low branching. It's got a good thick trunk. It's got a fairly good radial root base. That could be, you know, made into a very tiny bonsai. So I think of all these, I've, I'm going to maybe just keep the two, the smallest ones and make them very small bonsai. I'm going to prune up these trees now. So get rid of this root. I'm just going to chop all these long roots back because I am going to fit it into a very small pot. Now let's have a good look at the root system. This one's too high, I'll get rid of that. This one's too high. It's a chunk of pine bark there. Uh, I'll need to get this flat on the bottom so I'm just seeing what roots are going straight down this one. And I think I've got to prune all these back very short, like that. And then I've got to prune the top of the tree. I've got a couple of branches here that I'll prune it back to, the very thin branches. Like that, keeping two little thin branches. And then this one I'll do the same. I've got two branches here. And I'll prune this one back. And I'll prune this one back. And this one can be pruned back also. So that's about as miniature as I can get this tree. And you can see it's quite small. But I'm hoping, you know, if I get some branches come down lower, I can make it even smaller. Just going to cut this root back a bit more there. Okay, now I need to find a little pot for it. 
I have this little pot that Sophie made that I think would be quite nice for it. So that's what I'll plant it in. So I'll need to get a drainage screen in the bottom. I've got my drainage screen in the pot, so I'll add a base layer of bonsai soil. And I'll have to try and keep my particle size down. Okay, so some of those particles are too big. So I don't want those ones in this. That's probably fine for a base layer of soil. I'm going to add sand on top of the, the tree. So I will need a little spoon. So I'll put the tree in the pot like that and then add the sand around it. And this is just washed playground sand. And it'll just hold the moisture around the roots until they get established in the pot. I find sand is a good bonsai soil for these little tiny trees. Okay, so now I have to get that sand worked into the roots a bit. So the tree's a little more stable in the pot. Okay, and I'll give it a light watering. Actually, I'll just use the mister. So here I go misting the tree. So this is just, you know, giving it a very light watering. Get that sand worked in around the roots. Okay, I have a few stones here I can just place on the surface, one there, and one here. And that'll just hold the tree in place until those roots grow and the tree grows. So there we go. That tree is planted. Here is a look at the mini ficus. I'll put it in the plant room, warm it up, and it should grow quite well. I'm going to work on the second ficus now. So here is my root plane where the cutting ended. So these two are too high here. Get rid of those roots. This one's sticking straight up there. I can get rid of that. I'll just rake this out a bit. Oh, lots of good fine roots there. Okay, so again, I need to create a flat root base, so I'll prune off these thick ones that are pointing straight down. Trim back my longer ones. One sticking up there. This one's too high. It's got to come off. These two are crossing here. I'm going to remove the one below. This one's going too straight down. That's looking pretty good for the root base. Okay, so this tree, uh, you can see it's quite tall. And there's no lower branches, you know, close to the trunk. So I'm going to do some pretty hard pruning here. So here I go. I'll just keep a bit of each branch there. And this one will come into here. Like that. So basically a little tiny ficus stump. I may have to prune these longer roots back just a bit more. Okay, I'll find a pot. I'll find a pot to plant this tree in now. I've got this really nice Warsaw Ceramics pot. I think that's a good match. So that's the pot the tree will go in. I'll get a drainage screen cut for the bottom of the pot. And I'll do the same type of planting, a base layer of bonsai soil and then sand on top. I have got the drainage screen in the bottom of the pot. This pot was a gift from Blue Jay Bonsai for my birthday, my 61st birthday. Oh, there's some big chunks in there. Yeah, so thanks very much, Jay. I sure love these mini bonsai. 
Okay, that's a good base layer. So I'll position the tree in the pot now. Basically in the middle for this first planting. I'm just going to trim back a couple of roots that are a bit long to they overhang the lip of the pot. That's pretty good. And then I'll start adding the sand. Make sure everything's looking good. Roots are looking good. So you could use like the fines when you sift your bonsai soil. All the fine stuff you're sifting out, you could use that as your bonsai soil for these little trees. But I find the sand works quite well. And sand is nice because when it goes dry it lightens up. So it's a good indicator when your tree needs watering. I'm going to mist it just to work the sand into the roots. And then I'll top it up with some more sand. Again. That looks good. Here is a look at my two new mini bonsai. So I won't be giving these away. I, I really like them. They're in nice pots and I think It'll be really fun growing them as very small banyan trees. I think having some ficus on my mini bonsai bench will really add to the variety of trees. So far, all the trees, all the mini trees are doing really well. There's my little jade there. Yeah, they're all doing really well in their tiny pots. And they're growing in a tray of sand here, which is totally covered in moss now. It looks like I'll be keeping two of my three giveaway trees. And that is all for today. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the Bonsai Zone.